In this video, I will compare ChatGPT 4.0 with Gemini 1.5 Pro in work-related tasks. If you saw my previous video comparing both in personal stuff, you should know that ChatGPT is much smarter. So would Gemini do any better in professional usage or ChatGPT will remain the king? To test this, I will give both some tricky tasks from my actual full-time job to see which one would be able to handle them better. But first, let me explain briefly what I do as a full-time employee to understand the context. I manage a team of 10 analysts. Their main role is to validate a certain set of documents to make sure they meet the requirements. So the applicants raise a request, my team receive and download the documents to make sure they are aligned with the validation rules. Based on the outcome, they will either approve, reject, or request more info, and send a comment to the applicant with the validation outcome. So here's how I will do it. I will give both the validation rules in a PowerPoint format. Each slide explains what the analyst needs to check based on the document type. And here's one of the examples. The slide shows the document name, the verification list, and a visual guide on how to do this. Then I will provide the documents received from the user in a PDF and Word formats, and a screenshot from the CRM system showing all the details which is needed as a part of this process. In the first scenario, the applicant sent the salary certificate and employment contract for us to validate. So let's start with the chat GPT. Now everything is ready and my command is requesting to validate the documents based on the verification list available in the PowerPoint provided along with the user documents and the platform information. To allow ChatGPT to know which document is which, I named the files accordingly. So let's hit enter and see the results. First, it took exactly 23 seconds to finish the process. So let's take a look at the results. The verification rules PowerPoint provided to ChatGPT includes 15 slides for all sorts of documents my team validate, but it was able to pick the correct rules related to the provided documents on its own, which is impressive. Then it wrote each rule that relates to each document type and compared it against what's written in the actual files in a very organized and detailed way. As an example, one of the rules requires the salary certificate issue date not to exceed one month. It was able to pick the date from the certificate and compare it with today's date, confirming that this rule is met. Other rules require cross-checking the info with the other documents and the CRM system, which it also did. But it only missed one rule, which is the missing national ID number from the employment contract. Lastly, it provided me with a summary of the outcome, which is useful. Now let's try Gemini 1.5 Pro. First, it doesn't take PowerPoint presentations like ChatGPT 4.0, which is already worse. So I had to convert the validation rules to something else like PDF. Plus, if you decided to upload documents, the upload images option will become grayed out. So I had to also convert the CRM screenshot to PDF and try again. Now all the documents uploaded and ready for Gemini to process using the same command. So let's hit enter to see the outcome. Gemini took 19 seconds to finish the same task, which is two seconds faster than ChatGPT, but the response is much shorter. Taking a look at the results, I found that Gemini did more mistakes. First, it says that the salary certificate exceeds one month, even though the dates indicate that the difference between the issue date and today's date is 21 days, which is completely wrong. It also says that the company logo doesn't appear to be a free zone company, which is incorrect as it's written in other places in the contract, that this is indeed a free zone company. The only thing it did better than a chat GPT is it acknowledged that the national ID number is missing from the contract. So one mistake on a chat GPT side versus two mistakes from Gemini, plus a chat GPT response was more detailed and gives more confidence in the results. But I wanted to take it a step further and intentionally changed the name written in the contract, removed the company logo and the stamp to see if they can pick these mistakes so back again to ChatGPT. In this scenario, it only picked one mistake out of the three, which is the incorrect name. So it failed in this one, which means a human intervention is still needed in tricky scenarios, but don't expect it to take that long for the AI to improve and develop, as one year can make a hell of a difference in how it performs. So let's see if Gemini will be able to pick these errors. Unfortunately, it didn't pick any of the errors, which is also a step behind ChatGPT. Lastly, let's try how good are both in generating reports. I have an Excel sheet with more than 27K records, which is a pain to deal with in Excel, as it takes enormous amount of time to do any action because of the size. Plus, a lot of people are not that good with Excel, 
which could be a way to make your life easier. I wanted to create a pivot table to show me how many records per case type per month, so let's see which one will do it better. It took 53 seconds, which is not bad considering the number of records. From my end, I did cross-check the numbers with Excel, and they are accurate. Now let's try Gemini. After taking 35 seconds to analyze the sheet, it came back with an error. I'm unable to read the file you uploaded. Try again, or check the file for any issues. I tried again, and it did the same thing. To confirm that the file is working, let me show you that it opens normally in Excel without any issues. Maybe Gemini would be able to handle other files and this is an exception, but for me, I'm not gonna bother to troubleshoot an issue that doesn't exist and use a ChatGPT instead which is more reliable in this case. So here's my final conclusion, ChatGPT is still the way to go either for personal or professional use. But beside this, I'm really impressed by how smart is the AI nowadays. Yet, I can clearly see how some industries can completely get replaced with AI, which is a bad news for a lot of people. And the question remains, is that going to lead to the evolution of new industries to fill in the gap, or it will fire back on humanity? Please let me know what you think in the comments, but for now, thanks so much for watching, and see you in the next video.